Greetings, Imperial citizens. I'm Anthony, and uh, thank you so much for choosing to watch. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers, and thanks to everyone who's watching my videos. If you've not seen the time-lapse video I did of uh, myself setting up 1,000 Imperial troopers, please do so. There's a link below, and there'll be one at the end of this video. Now, what I've got for you today is 18 Imperial Navy commanders. Now, what's so special about having 18 Imperial Navy commanders, other than it's kind of a lot. These all have unique heads. Uh, one of the great things about Hasbro is uh, over the years they've just given us so many unique head sculpts and with the uh, ball jointed neck it's simple to pop one head off and uh, put it on another one. Anyone could do it. This figure is VC94. It was released as part of the Vintage Collection back in uh, 2012. It's a really great sculpt. It was done kind of to replace the Death Star Trooper released in 2007 as part of the 30th anniversary collection. Then this figure was re-released as part of the Black Series, uh, Black Series number 14 in 2015. This would be a perfect figure except for the fact that it has a Republic emblem on the shoulder instead of an Imperial emblem. It's kind of frustrating that uh, such a great figure has such a kind of a major mistake and even more frustrating that it wasn't corrected for the 2015 release. But I happen to used to work in animation and dealt with overseas companies so I can make an educated guess as to why this never got corrected. That's all. Let's uh, take a look to see who we have under the helmet. And that's it. 18 unique Imperial Navy commanders. Best part is anybody could do this. You just pop a head off and swap it out with another head. Now three of these guys in particular gave me problems. Uh, not everyone fits perfectly. The uh, Death Star Trooper, 30th anniversary, the hole in, in the head is, is a little too big. That's an easy fix. All you do is you know, take some hot glue, put a dab on the uh, neck stem and head on and stays on like a charm. You can even manipulate it so that uh, you could turn the head. The other end of the spectrum though is when the uh, the hole is too small. For that you need a more permanent solution. You need to take just a drill bit and hand drill it. For these guys it's a 13, uh, 13 64th drill bit. So as long as you're uh, willing to uh, permanently uh, uh, damage the, the head, it's it's good to go. The more astute of you have probably noticed that I did not use either the uh, Hoth Rebel soldier heads. Uh, they have a good excuse. They're being used to populate other rebels and make uh, larger armies. I'll do a video on that later, although yeah, technically this is a, an Imperial channel. I'd like to uh, thank uh, Only One Kenobi for uh, inspiring me to start off with this video. Uh, he has a great channel. Please check it out in all of his videos. I want to thank Greg for uh, the title card my daughter Grace who did the uh, music. Next video I'm going to do is a tutorial on uh, building a full battalion. So remember, do your part for the Empire, subscribe, and await for the next transmission.